It's the beginning of a brand new month and I am sure you are excited because typically you have just received your latest paycheck. Now that joy that you're feeling right now, I'm going to give you some tips to allow you to sustain that feeling for the rest of the month. Tip number one, set your priorities for this month. So what do I mean by that? As an example, when my wife and I sit down every month and do our monthly spending plan, we already know from the top that we want to support the top three things we value, which is charitable contributions, saving and investing for retirement, and funding our vacation account because we love to travel. So if you have never sat down to determine what you value most, Please do that because typically what you value, it should be supported with your money. Tip number two, identify areas of opportunity. So now that we're going into a new month, why not take a look in the past to observe how you spent money for the past 30 days? So as an example, you could go back and pull your credit card statement, and you could also review your checking account statement online. I dare you to go down line by line to see where your money went. So you might discover that you spent more money than you thought you did eating out or on subscriptions or things of that nature. So when I say identify areas of opportunity, we're just looking for ways to widen the gap between income and spending. And tip number three, create a plan and execute. So I've been married for over 21 years. And can you believe for every month, my wife and I, we sit down and we have a meeting to talk about how to use the money for the next month. Now, when we first got married, I'm not going to lie to you. These meetings would take like an hour. But now they take about five minutes because we've created a system that works so well that we just tweak a few things here and there and we just keep it moving, as they say. So once again, don't forget the three tips. Number one, set your priorities. Number two, identify areas of opportunity. And number three, create a plan and execute. So as always, remember to count your money, then give every dollar you earn instructions so it will behave. If you need help creating more structure with your personal finances, please visit GameTimeBudgeting.com forward slash resources and you'll be able to download some free information and worksheets that will help you get the order and structure that you need in your personal financial life. Take care.